garages several hundred kilometers apart, I leave my Alberta clients in great hands as I fly to the Saskatchewan Lodge to say hi to Daryl's crew and give them a hand. With great hunting in action at both lodges, this episode captures the essence of waterfowling across the prairies simultaneously. It's all amazing, but just a bit different. Specks, snows, and ducks were the predominant flavor this tour. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. All right, so the plan now is uh, we get a little bit of a break in the weather and uh, Jason Offner, one of my other guys who worked for me in the past, had a three day window where he could come and work and help the guides out. So my intention is to fly to Saskatchewan, just have a look at what's going on there, kind of go through some things with Daryl, check out the resource, what it's like actually in the fall and, and uh, just kind of provide a little bit of direction and, and support and see what's going on, give them a hand a little bit if they need it. So that's the plan, you know, the weather's good and I and, uh, should be able to get there in two and a half hours or so, which is way better than a six and a half, seven hour drive. Stay there for a couple of days and come back and, and uh, take it from there. So I'm just getting the plane ready and getting ready to blast off here shortly. So that's good. Good, yeah. Getting the guys on there. Yeah, it's good. These guys are ready to rumble. Sounds like things are under control. We have a good meeting with the yeah the crew. Yeah, everyone's sorted out. Well, they've got. I mean, Dave's got a backup duck hunt. If Emily's yeah. goose hunt goes sideways, he's got another snow goose hunt. Yeah. You know, and and I guess Tuesday you guys get to start hunting darks in the yeah. afternoon, which yeah. changes everything. It's and big, big it's huge, yeah. huge. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. All right. Well, we should go spot. Yeah. Right on. So I got a target for tomorrow. It's looking good. Um, lots of ducks. It doesn't have a lot of speckle bellies. I mean, like it's most most of our specks have left now. But I mean, for the for what I've seen in the area, it's got a few. It's maybe. 1500 2000 definitely enough to, sh to get you know to get some and then a thousand snows so not heavy on the geese but lots of ducks so i don't know we'll go tomorrow hopefully best case shoot a limit of ducks and i don't know maybe 15 20 geese would be great and then be able to go out in the afternoon and i don't know maybe take the guys on a snow goose hunt so looking good right now so i should be hunting in the morning Claudio flew in today. He just got in uh, before I brought the group, and uh, great to see him here during the hunting season. He's done lots of work here, and uh, you know we're we're doing pretty good this year. We're shooting lots of birds, and we're just going to continue it on with this group. So some of the biggest differences between Saskatchewan and Alberta is uh, the terrain you're hunting. I mean, the terrain out in Saskatchewan here is uh, it's very open and flat. There's not as much uh, trees or uh, 
any sort of land features. You're just hunting large, large open grain fields. Um, regulation changes. We're allowed to hunt sandhill cranes here in Saskatchewan. Uh, so lots of guys call them ribeye of the sky. They actually are delicious. Uh, I definitely recommend eating them any chance you can. But uh, they're a lot of fun to hunt. It's just a totally different hunt. We decoy them. We set out decoys for them. They come right in just like any other species of waterfowl. And uh, uh, other differences would be uh, a lot of mixed mixed bag shooting in the late season here. You can go on a hunt and shoot uh, pretty well every species of uh, waterfowl out here. But uh, it's a, it, they're both the same but different. They're the same during different times of the season and uh, really they're both on good flyways and uh, great places to hunt. It's just a great opportunity to have two lodges and two of the best places in North America to hunt. Now we're just on the way to check out another uh, duck hunt of mine. It looks like it's, there's a few geese filling up in there too right now. Just want to uh, see what's going on and then we're gonna head up and check out the morning auction here. But uh, just want to get an idea before uh, it gets too dark anyways what's happening here. Day number two for these guys. Weather smartened up. Nice and warm this morning, no frost. A little cloud cover, a little bit of wind. So we're looking good. Two goose hunts, well, no, two combos. Honkers and ducks, and then I'm on uh, snows with some specks and a lot of ducks. So should be good. Well, we're all set up, about a half hour early. These guys are quick, so you never know. Better late, better early than late, so. Looking good, we got cloud cover, we got a little bit of wind, the sills are starting to move. I think we're in business, I think it should be a good one. Uh, like the setup, guy doesn't always like what he puts together, I love it, so. Should be a gooder, let you know at 9.30. Okay. Come on, group up. Wait, wait, right out front. Wait, wait. Ready, boys? Go, 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 right out in front. One shot, get him up. There we go. There we go. Nice volley, guys. Go guys, go, go, go. And the ducks, and the ducks, and the ducks. There we go. Someone go on that thing. Go, go. Done. That's the way you take those singles, one shot. Go boys. Go, 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 go. Nice, nice. <laughs> good volley. Real good volley. Go, guys. Go, 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 go. Wait, let's wait, 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 wait. Oh boy, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice. Go guys. Okay, big flight's coming, guys. Get ready, get ready. Hey, hey, hey. Get ready, we got a big flight coming. Let's 
go, guys. Go, go, go. Everybody single. Take him. Take him. Heads up. Heads up. Go, boys. All right. Let's get up. Let's get up and get eight ducks behind each hoot. Unbelievable. Huh? Let's look, boys. Look, boys. We gotta get in. Just drop, drop. Let's get a volley of these. Go, guys. Go, go, go. There we go. Go guys, go, go, go! <laughs> Better take him, yeah. Oh! <laughs> mm -hmm. All you, right there. Go guys, go, 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 go. There he goes. Go boys, go, 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 go. So all in all, good hunt. Um, Specs and snows. Specs didn't come right out of the gate this morning like they have been. So we got a little bit blobbed, I guess you would say. Got our snows and specs at once. Pretty well though, I think we got 12 specs. I don't know, give me 10 snows, a couple cans, and all our ducks. We, we were covered up with ducks all morning. Ducks were not a problem, for sure. Um, like I said, the little blobby with the geese, if we would have got our specs a little earlier, probably would have done a little better. But they come in the big flights of the snows, which hurt us a bit. So. But uh, not a, I mean, a good hunt, so. We'll get these guys, they're gonna sit in while I go get the truck, trip away maybe for a little bit, and then uh, we'll get them back for lunch, and then it uh, sounds like a snow goose hunt this afternoon. So that's the plan. Great day today. We uh, limited out on uh, ducks this morning, had plenty of geese flying over. Had uh, quite a few volleys where we were killing eight or nine at a time, so it was a great hunt. We're just heading out this morning to check out uh, a hunt that we have permission on, some honkers and some ducks in there. Uh, Dave's out this morning, he's shooting some snows and some ducks, and uh, there should be some specks in there too. These guys had a really good day yesterday. They shot uh, about 70 snows and a uh, whole bunch of greater Canada's. It was a good day. They filled up the photo deck and uh, the guys just loved it. They had a great time. Uh, some of the guys said it was some of the best hunting they've had since they uh, started hunting when they were nine years old. And I think uh, that says a lot. I mean, some of these guys have been hunting for 50, 60 years. It's, that's awesome. That's what we want to hear and that's what we want to do. So Emily's up uh, north checking out uh, some crane hunts and uh, some ducks, and then uh, Ryan's up north again too. He's uh, he's watching a whole bunch of stuff up there. He's got cranes, he's got uh, snows and specks, he's got snows. He's he's got a lot. He'll be busy this morning. And man, that that hunt is a giant. It's uh, a lot of snows, a lot of specks, and a lot of ducks. If we can get get in on that one, we'll have we'll have a good time. But uh, 
see whatever else appears this morning. We've had a bit of a north wind for the last couple days and birds have been rolling in. So it's, uh, it's looking pretty good right now. Well, for me, for waterfowl hunting, I've been doing it since I was uh, probably four years old. My, my dad got me into it. And, uh, ever since I was a little kid, I got hooked early. So it's always been a passion of mine, but uh, I don't know. It's just for me, it's the, the social aspect, aspect of it. I mean, it's not like deer hunting where you can't, you can't really say much or, or really talk about anything. And waterfowl hunting, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's about, uh, it's not just about the, the hunting, it's all about the experience and the memories and you get to share with your friends and stuff like that. And, and uh, it's a little long lasting too sometimes in the, in the deer hunting, in the big game world, you pull that trigger and your season's over, but uh, not so much in the waterfowl, waterfowl world. So to me, it's, uh, it's my favorite, it's my passion. I'll, I'll do it until I can, so I love it. So this morning we're going to check out our possible afternoon hunt, which is a crane hunt. Um, so we're just going to make sure they're all fat and happy in there. And we'll see what this weather does. We're going to make sure that they leave, because if they, the weather stays this way, they might sit in the field all day and feed, which would mean no afternoon hunt for the crane. And we've also got a, a snow spec combo hunt we want to make sure is looking good for, for the clients for the next few days, as well as a big uh, snow hunt. So we're going to go for a little drive and keep our eye on our targets and uh, see what we see. Well, our crane hunt didn't quite pan out. They're still in the field, and that's just the way it goes sometimes. Um, so our plan B option is to hunt the snows out of this snow and spec uh, combo we have. There's a lot more snows in it, it's, it so it's a better option. Um, we've got another snow hunt to the south of us pretty far, but couldn't lock it down because the birds are still in the field. Because of the wet weather, they're just going to feed all day anyways. But up here, we're as you can see, we're a lot drier, so uh, it's going to be it's going to be the best option for the clients for this afternoon. So we're going to give it a shot and uh, see how many of the, the white guys we can pick up. So should be fun either way. So yeah, we, uh, we've had a little bit of equipment issue. Um, E-collars don't want to play nice because the wind's pretty gusty here tonight. And uh, we're covered up in specs, but we're grinding it out. The guys are shooting well, and uh, once the snows get inside the specs, they're dropping them. So we got lots of time left. There's lots of bursts coming yet, so uh, it's going good so far. The guys are having fun. It's the most important thing, and uh, putting birds on the ground. So it's going good. Oh. Get ready, get ready. Kill those, those are perfect. Yeah, 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 one more. He's down, he's down. Nice shot. Good job guys, four or five, it's great shooting. Try him. Kill those. Kill them. That's no. Kill them. Ready? Try those. Yeah. There's another Ross out front. Watch this Ross out front. 
I miss him. I know, man. Ooh, they had to run the gauntlet. Yeah. I'm gonna with my hand. Oh yeah. Kill them, kill them. <laughs> yeah, they're coming over here anyways. Try those guys, try those. Rocky, you take this rod. Take that rod, Rocky. Take that rod. Bad shot on my first one. Got <laughs> <laughs> him that time. <laughs> that was a $40 broth there, guys. <laughs> So, uh, pretty good hunt. The guys shot really well. We had a few things go squirrely on us. Um, the specs, we were pretty much overrun with specs. And unfortunately, we can't shoot dark geese in the afternoon until tomorrow. But, uh, so we missed on some opportunities there. But we finished with uh, 62 Ross and a single Mallard. So, the guys had fun. Some sore shoulders, but they shot really well. Really well. It's uh, some of the most sporting shooting you'll ever get in North America. So. They, uh, they did well, they had fun, so that's a, that's a win in my books.